Marianne, you're currently first on the LET Order of Merit. You've had one win this year and several top tens. Tell us what's been working well for you this year. I feel that the trust in my golf swing has been a lot better this year than last couple of years. Um, I started to really work hard on it or work hard on the changes probably 18 months ago. Um, and I feel that when I've trusted my swing, I've started to trust putting, chipping, wedge game, and um, everything kind of just falls into place. Um, obviously, it doesn't work all the time, but uh, more often. Brilliant. So if you were to summarise your year, how would you put it into words? Well, obviously, I had a good start there in January, February, um, so it gave me a lot of confidence. But I feel that the season overall has been either pretty good or really bad. A bit up and down. So yeah, up and down. It's either been like top ten or miss card. <laughs> so um, and obviously the bad tournaments are frustrating, but uh, overall it's been a lot better than the last few years. So we've got two events left, including this one. If you were to win the Order of Merit, what would it mean? Um, you know, I'm getting old. I've been out here for about 15 years now. <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it would be um, would be a lot of fun to win it. I've, my best finish is fourth, so uh, obviously I think every girl's mission is to win the Order of Merit, so um, it would be fun. But I'm trying not to think too much about it. I want to go out here and have a good week and have fun and do the same next week in Kenya. Um, and then we'll just see where we are in a couple of weeks' time. Fantastic. So we did put it to social media to ask you some questions. Right. So we've got a couple of quick fire ones here. Um, there's been a lot of compliments on your swing. Oh really? Um, yes, absolutely, many. Um, so someone said, has asked, how do you maintain such a beautiful tempo? I'm quoting them on that as well. Oh really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it is a lot of hours of work. Um, and that's been one of my things this year, trying to not kill it every time I hit the ball. And um, when I swing a little bit easier, a little bit slower, I feel that I've got a little bit more control. Um, so now God knows how I do it. I just try and do it. Well, lots of hard work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Um, what keeps you motivated? Obviously, you've said you've had a bit of an up and down year. So how do you maintain that momentum? Well, this year it's been the number one on the order of merit that has been my goal. And um, so obviously when I've been, not been on the top for very long, but I've been there somewhere, I've had a chance. So um, that, that's really kept me motivated. And um, I think for my sake, it's been good that I haven't been number one because then you feel that you want to chase something, yeah, don't you? Yeah, a bit of a challenge. Yeah. So, uh, to be honest now, I still think, in my head, I'm still four or five on the list. So I can look at these two weeks as a chase and try and beat someone else. I like it. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, simple question. How many holes in one have you had? I think I've had seven. Seven. That's impressive. <laughs> Lucky. Nice. I've had zero. <laughs> um, Favourite tournament and why? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I love Dubai, I like going to Dubai, so I think uh, probably course, weather and food is why. <laughs> Excellent, good decision. Um, what do you love most about golf? I love that every day is really is a different day. <laughs> you know that you always have to try and find the good feeling and even if you go out there and you don't feel great, you can still shoot five on the par. Yeah. That's the thing about this game that just amazes me. I, I love that. Brilliant. So it's the challenge. Absolutely. Nice. Um, Camilla Leneth has asked, what is your favourite flavour ice cream? I think there's an in-joke going on here, which you may have to explain. Um, well, I don't think I can explain it on camera. NFW, but not for work. Ju just say um, cookies and cream. I like cookies and cream. Okay, yeah. cool. Good, I like that one. Um, the next question I'm not very happy with. Um, apparently, they've asked, have you got any fashion advice for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not impressed they're, with that question. They're, like, they're mean to me mm. because um, people don't think that I dress very well. So my fashion I think it was advice, a serious question. I genuinely oh, think is it, it? I think it was a serious oh, really? question. Oh, I so I think it was more of a dig at me. <laughs> oh, really? No, that's not funny because I would just say put trackies on. Yeah, that's okay. what I wear every day. That's okay. 
Jazzy, make, can we, we get some jazzy we trackies? We make it fashion, don't we? That's true. Trendsetters. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm well, with you on that. People wear what we wear. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell them what to wear. Absolutely. So, final question: What are your goals for 2020? Nice and easy. Um, I haven't really thought that far yet. Uh, obviously, it is the Olympics. I want to play the Olympics, but um, uh, my head needs to rest for at least a week or so before I even start thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so, no goals yet. No, we'll wait until December. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh, no Fantastic. worries.